Day 16 and we're at uh, Cape Girardeau in Missouri. Uh, we lost uh, another day yesterday due to a big rain front coming through. Uh, we're just at the tail end of it now, but the uh, cloud cover is low enough for us to be able to get off the ground uh, and head west again. So we really need to be able to make it as far as Amarillo in Texas, about seven hours of flying today, uh, to be able to still be on track for getting back in time. off the ground nice and early at 7.15 and things were looking great. Thanks to a nice tailwind, we hit a speed record on this trip of over 140 knots ground speed. We had a few spots of rain on the way, but visibility was fine and the ride was smooth at 4,500 feet. We arrived at Tulsa, Oklahoma ahead of schedule and were even thinking of adding a third leg to the day. We fueled up and headed up again towards Amarillo in Texas. Very quickly the weather deteriorated and visibility dropped with no option to fly any lower. After less than an hour things weren't getting any better so we decided to land at Guthrie, Oklahoma about 40 miles north of Oklahoma City and wait for conditions to improve. After an afternoon of waiting around we realized we would have to stay the night. We've given up for the night, uh, it's not going to clear up, so uh, we're staying here in Guthrie and uh, forecast is better for tomorrow. So Jesse's just coming over to fill her up. Uh, we've got a pickup truck to take us, uh, that we can borrow for the night, take us to a hotel and uh, we'll sit it out. The vehicle was quite an adventure to drive. This evening at the hotel we started exploring plan B, looking at how long we can afford the trip to last and what the options are for getting us and the plane back to California if time really does run out. How much does a plane like Adrian's cost? So a used uh, Cessna 172 from uh, that time period, the 1970s, is probably the same as a uh, mid-range car in Europe or what they call a sedan here in the US. Do you have to pay to land at an airport? So most of the airports that we're landing at, there is no, uh, no landing fee, no charge for landing. Do you have to pay to leave a plane at an airport overnight? So most airports will charge a tie-down fee, which is a charge, uh, maybe 10 or $20 to park the plane overnight. If you want to have it put in a hangar, uh, then it'll cost you maybe uh, $30, which will be similar to parking a car in a garage overnight in a big city. If the Baron episode 14 travel all the way, or was it goes along the way? So the Baron was actually bought along the way, and he's kind of become our mascot. 